Pisces. Gang, gang, gang. What did I do, you guys? <laughs> I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait a couple of days. I had to come right back. I had to come right back. Okay. Pisces gang and his thing. What's up? It's your girl, Empress 777 here today with a general love message. Couldn't really tell if it's new or old. I feel like it's a battle. Okay. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Holy angels and spirit guys, please give me exactly what I need to know for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These messages, of course, are general, you guys, okay? Use your intuition to guide you towards the messages that are here for you today. And whatever is not here for you, whatever doesn't resonate with you, leave it for whoever it's here for, okay? That's how tarot goes, okay? Cross watchers, you are welcome as well. So just place yourself where you belong in the story. Switch, swap the roles if you need to. Um, take a moment and click that like button, guys, as well as the subscribe button. If this message doesn't happen to resonate with you, I do have a second channel where I have collective messages. Um, which I will link down below in the description box, my second channel, and you can go over there and see if there are messages over there for you as well, okay? Now, I hope you guys are doing well. If you want to make it official and become a part of this gang, a part of this team, click that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, okay? So we have a pretty action-packed uh, pre-shuffle here, you guys, all right? Um, somebody does not mind you waiting uh, to move on. So if you haven't done so already um, and you may feel very deeply in your energy that it's time for you to start putting yourself out there or that it's at least time for you to start, you know, um, just racking up a few friendships, if that, right? At the very least, um, situationships, friendships, friends with benefits, whatever rocks your boat, Um but you haven't been doing it, it does appear that this person is working with some form of energy. I don't know if it's magic. Okay, I'm not going to say that. I won't go as far to say that. But they are energetically sending downloads and sending um, their own vibrations your way to kind of try and stop you from going towards new. It says, forgive me, but I found a new love who makes me feel alive. This person does fear this like the plague. All right. And they do want you to kind of force yourself to not step outside of what they feel the two of you had this is somebody who was wanting to make a resurgence make a return okay um this is also someone who wants you to subscribe to the thought of waiting they may have always done that though okay because we also had left hanging so for some of you this person is probably notorious for coming up missing ghosting you or just checking out of the connection whenever the fuck they feel like it um, that's something that they want you to subscribe to. In fact, that's a habit is what they're saying. That's something that they want all of their prospective love encounters and partnerships to subscribe to. This person likes to be a free spirit, but they like to have the ability to have all the resources of like you being their husband and wife, not just girlfriend and boyfriend. This is somebody who has like a lot of nerve is what I'll say. OK, because they don't mind asking for what they want. They don't mind uh, proceeding with asking or having a hand out for the things that they feel like they need um but they also don't want to have any strings attached to that whatsoever okay because we have make them prove it in the reverse so this is somebody who doesn't like to prove their love they don't like to prove um that they are deserving of a connection they don't like to prove that they're good enough they actually like for their partners to be on the to be on that um, to be on that side of things. So this is somebody who likes to put their partnerships or their partners, people who want them, um, people who, who find them sexy, who find them tempting, who find them alluring. They like to put those people on a, a hamster wheel, so to speak. What does that mean, Empress? That means you're getting on a hamster wheel. It appears that you're about to take a ride. And normally when you take a ride, you're going towards a certain destination, right? You want some sort of progress. Um, you, you're trying to get somewhere. A hamster wheel is going real fast, but it's going nowhere at all. And it's with the hopes that you will never figure out that you're not going to ever get anywhere with them. They'll never have to prove it, right? It creates this extreme imbalance in the connection because you're always in a position of trying to prove yourself trying to prove that you deserve what you gave to them already that you deserve reciprocation that's crazy as fuck what the fuck what are you kidding me now y'all know y'all people be pissing me off okay we have beauty and the beast this is somebody who finds you extremely beautiful and this is also someone who has extreme um insecurities okay so they may view themselves as the beastly portion of this connection but they very much like to deflect and project that 
okay, by way of manipulation. So that that could be by not answering a certain question or making you feel stupid for asking for certain things or trying to. Okay, Um, that doesn't have to be true to you, but this is what they feel this is how this person operates this is what it's saying okay um this could also be someone who comes in very hot and heavy to seduce right and then they just leave you hanging then it goes cold all of a sudden and you don't you kind of don't know which way they're blowing which person you're gonna get you might feel like this is a Jekyll and Hyde one moment they're all into you things seem to be going somewhere right um And then the next moment, you don't even know the person that you're talking to, the person that you're dealing with, right? You feel like this person, um, you can't really pin them down. You can't really describe to anybody what you're experiencing. So this is why there should be all the more reason for you to want to go towards something new, which I do feel most of you are in that positioning now. But this is there's there should also be another feeling within you if you are resonating with this message where you're like, "Mm, I don't know if I'm ready, though. Right. I don't want to force it, though. So there may be people who are interested in you. For some of you, there are people who have been waiting for you to be single. (laughs) You might have people who took numbers. Right. They got it's a whole waiting room and shit. People done took their numbers. They waiting around the corner. It's wrapped. That line is wrapped, baby. Okay. Only take it if it resonates. (laughs) You might not even notice because I feel like for some of you, you've just been doing your own thing. You may have subscribed to the notion of waiting for this in the past. For some of you, don't force it to fit. If that is you, you only subscribe to that because you felt like this was a soulmate or a twin flame because of the imbalance, because of the the um the energies of light and dark um um light and shadow right that that whole shadow work thing and and just the magnetism of it all um if that's you you have now come to recognize that that's not what you were dealing with at all and you could possibly be dealing with someone who is just oh i don't want to say the (laughs) n-word i don't want to say the n-word they say say it no i don't want to say it one of y'all say it down in the comments. You're like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Narcissistic. Okay. Okay. It's giving narcissism. I'm sorry. Sorry. So this is who we have showing up, but we also have the new showing up as well. Now, this don't force it card next to the new is definitely giving for me that for some of you, you're playing hard to get with the newer person or you will, um, or you are going to possibly like on a subconscious level, be pushing this new love away. You might not even know why, because you possibly are into these newer energies, these newer people coming towards you. You are interested in the new, but something is still repelling you. It's this individual energetically. They are definitely working with some energies over there, you guys. OK, some forms of rituals, possible candle magic for some of you. This is somebody who wants to hold on to you, but also doesn't want to hold on. <laughs> What kind of shit is this? This is confusing me. It's very confusing, you guys, okay? This is also the type of person who likes to conquer. So they um, they possibly like the thrill of the chase. They like to watch people on that wheel. And when people give up, right? When people give up, this is somebody who will come running back with that hot and heavy energy again. That's what adds to the to the confusion of it all because it's like, well, you you disappeared. So now you care because I don't care. I don't get it. This person also has a very seductive quality to them. There's something very seducing about their energy. It could be their smile, it could be their eyes, their body, um the way that they talk. It's something about them that does create this magnetic this, this magnetism. Um but you are being warned to proceed carefully with this one you guys okay because their intentions are very much so hidden this is a very temperamental person you're not going to really know what you're getting from them there's a bit of a disimbalance here i'm just gonna say that okay a chemical imbalance i'm just gonna say that i ain't no therapist but that's what i'm I, I, look i said it now what i said it i said it I'm talking to your person now i said it now what you gonna do <laughs> don't you start knocking my shit over okay so we have the eight of wands. Of course we do. Messages on messages on messages. In the conflict positioning, we have the queen of pentacles. So this person views you as somebody who's way too confident. They don't like it. They are coming back towards you full steam ahead, especially if you're the one who left them hanging this time. You may have kind of given them a taste of their own medicine. 
or if you just left the connection hanging, right? If you stopped fighting for it, if you stopped waiting for it, they can feel that energetically, okay? There is a, a soul contract here, all right? So just in case you were wondering, I don't feel like this is twin flame for, for a great majority of you. I don't feel that. I also don't feel soulmate energy, but there is a form of a soul contract here and it could very much so be karmic. This is also why this person can feel so very heavily when you are moving on. They might just appear out of nowhere or they may call or text or show up. Okay, it's definitely giving cock blocker. Okay, they're trying to block you from moving forward, but they don't necessarily want to tie this down they don't necessarily want to invest wholeheartedly either it's this is um giving the energy of somebody who just likes the idea of having um having you okay you are showing up as the queen of pentacles they do view you as smart they don't like that okay your intellect the way you think the way you problem solve they don't like it because I do feel like your intellect at one point in time possibly was sexy to this person. They may like the way that you think. They like the way that you talk. They like the way that you are. Okay, they like your being. You're very alluring to this person as well. It's a magnetism. So you both are attracted to one another. Um, but your brain, okay, your brain is a lot for them. It has you in the position of not wanting to wait around for them to prove themselves meaning you're not waiting for a return on your investment any longer you are fully invested in moving forward um you're not trying to force shit with them on their end you're not trying to force anything with anybody at this juncture you might just be focused on your money on your career on your own life and you're open to new possibilities in the future and it's really leaving this person hanging out in the cold because i do feel like this person also gets off on being chased so I'm not saying that you ever chased this person in the past, but what I am saying is if you ever walked away from this, but then turned back around because you were confused and you wanted answers or you wanted closure, this person viewed you seeking closure as chasing. And that doesn't have to be the truth, but that's what's showing up here. And they view you as the queen of pentacles. Gender doesn't matter, but you are somebody who is very practical, somebody who is very smart, someone who can do well for themselves. Okay, especially financially, you're very self-sufficient. You don't need a relationship. You don't mind having a love connection, a, a relationship, but it has to make sense. Um, and this person doesn't like that because then that puts you in a power position. If you don't, if you're not thirsty or desperate, then there's no way you're going to accept this beastly like behavior. And that's the problem that they're having with you. OK, you feel like you have a choice. <laughs> what the fuck is this, you guys? What is going on? <sighs> yeah, that is problematic for this person. OK, uh, this is showing up as the energy of how they're viewing you but in the um in the past okay recent past you're looking at this connection very intensely and you're not able to make sense of it so you decided to wash your hands of this instead of trying to learn or being patient <laughs> They want you to be patient and they also want you to allow them to get away with certain things or say certain things, say that they're going to give you certain things or offer you certain things without actually having to prove that without any receipts or any action behind it. And I don't I feel like you just wasn't having it. That's not good enough for you. This is somebody who felt like they weren't good enough for you from the beginning, which is where all their antics came from as well. OK, just in case you were wondering. Do I get that? No. OK, so their greatest fear. Yeah. Is that you are um, going to remain in this very powerful and confident positioning and move forward. Queen of Wands, she is self-sufficient. She's confident. She can really have anybody that she wants. Gender doesn't matter. This is about energy. This could be King of Wands energy as well. It's a born leader. This is someone who is magnetic in and, uh, in and of themselves. OK, so it's definitely given the energy that if. You miss one bus, another 15 minutes, another one coming. Okay, word to my to my man Gucci. <laughs> Ain't that Gucci, y'all? Ain't that Gucci? Ain't that Gucci man? Okay, did he say that? 
Yeah. These girls, these boys are like buses, okay? Miss one, next 15, next one coming, right? Like, come on. So that's the queen uh, or the wands energy. King of wands, queen of wands. If it doesn't work out with you, my love, there will always be someone else. That confidence? Oh, that pisses them the fuck off. They don't like that shit, okay? They want to be the one and only... And it's also going to put them in a position of not having closure either. So they feel like you are um, doing this purposefully. <laughs> are you? I don't think that you are. I don't feel that. You let me know because it might be split. Um, for those of you who possibly are doing this <laughs> purposefully, it's not wholeheartedly you trying to purposefully do this to this person. You are thinking about yourself first. So this is what works for you first and foremost is, but it doesn't hurt. It's just like the cherry on top, the pettiness within the, within the actions and how you go about doing this. Cause you did think about this. This is, you, you thought this through. So that's why it's showing up a little bit petty and it is definitely sending this person is sending them. Okay. Where? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say their mind. I don't feel like they have a brain. You know, I feel like their, their brain is not something that they use very much. So they don't really know how to navigate this. They're not a thinker. That's also why they can't stand your mind. Cause you use it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Like they want me to pull up the, the knight of pentacles, right? This person is very slow to think. <laughs> Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who saw? Okay. Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you are definitely in a position to finish this person if you want to. If you wanted to, you could really finish them. And I feel like they're going to give you the perfect opportunity to do that with the Eight of Wands. Like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Ma'am, sir, Brussels, you don't mind me asking, what, what, what is this? Can I just clarify this before we go over to the extended? Now, we will dig into that new love and the extended because I want to see what that's about for sure. See, yeah, they're not thinking. Look, nine of wands, five of swords. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This is somebody who wants to come in and start a fight, okay, an argument, in reference to why you left them hanging, even though they did it to you or why you did to them what you did, even though what you're doing to them is what they did to you. OK, so they don't really have a fight or an argument exactly, but they're going to try. And because you are able to intellectually and verbally massacre this person with the Queen of Swords, that's why I felt that they're setting themselves up. This is somebody who really cannot match you toe to toe in an argument. And I mean, your your tongue is lethal. So I don't even know why they're trying. Oh, my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Wheel of Fortune. This is going to change everything. Everything. It's going to change everything. It's changing both of you all's paths. Okay. So let's go on over to the extended. <laughs> I want to dig in over there, okay? We will get to new love. I want to tie this up with a cute little bow first, though, okay? Let's see if there have been any transformative changes within this person whatsoever. That's the only way. That's the only way that this Wheel of Fortune will actually show up as something beneficial for them, okay? I don't get you turning back around towards this person because they created too much confusion for you, and that's not how you operate. That's not how you thrive, okay? Um... Your life may feel actually easier, much lighter, much less. You're using much less uh, emotional and mental bandwidth after disconnecting from this person. So going back towards them hasn't been the first thought in your mind. OK, um, but I will look for those of you who, who may still have any form of emotional attachment or just any, you know, like I wonder if I will look at that. OK, let's see what the hopes for the future of this connection is for this person. What karma are they due to face because of this behavior? I just want to know because I'm nosy. OK, yeah. Let's also see their next steps and their purest intentions for those steps. That is important because this is how you're going to protect yourself. This is how you're going to prepare for this return. It's coming in fast, swift with that eight of wands. OK, let's also get advice from your spirit 
spirit guides in reference to how you can level up your frequency and make yourself invisible to low vibrational energies and toxicity once you have made it beyond this cycle. You don't want to keep repeating the same lessons over and over and over, okay? And then we're going to get right into new love. Let's see who's coming in. They showed up first. OK, you're going to be very attracted to this person. There's a lot of chemistry here and passion. So let's see exactly what this will entail. Only the good, only the new. How will you know who I'm talking about? Meaning what are the what are the best qualities and sexiest qualities about this person to you? Why are they single? According to the divine, not according to them. That's going to let us know if it's safe for you to invest. OK, let's see uh, what a life with this person would be like so that we can see if they're just showing up with their representative. And will they change once they feel like they have you? That's also very important. Let's then get to the best uh, outcome, okay? What is the possibility for union within this newer cycle, this newer romantic connection, things going all the way, longevity? What is the possibility of that? We'll also get a time frame, an exact timing in which you will meet this person in the future, and then we'll get advice from your spirit guides in reference to how you can materialize the desires and manifestations of your heart ASAP. That means as soon as possible, okay? So without further ado, click that like button as well as the subscribe button. OK, we do not have any time to waste. <laughs> we have a lot to get into. Um, for those of you who are following me over into the extended, I'm going to put that link down below in the description box. Hope to see you over there. Let's go.